Standard Chartered Bank and the Anti-Scam Center ASC, watered a government official impersonation scam case, where the victim nearly lost over $260,000. The case involved a 79-year-old victim, who had received an unsolicited call in September from a scammer impersonating a bank officer. The police said on December 8. The scammer claimed that the victim's account had been frozen for investigation before transferring the call to a second scammer, pretending to be a Singapore police force official. This scammer instructed the victim to report her whereabouts four times a day and not to divulge details about the investigation. In such scams, the fake bank officer may accuse victims of having outstanding credit card charges on their cards that are linked to criminal or money laundering activities. The second scammer, pretending to be a government official, may then ask victims to relinquish their banking details or open new bank accounts as part of the putative investigations and to keep the investigation a secret. Under the instructions of the second scammer, the victim sold her unit trust investments held with Standard Chartered Bank in November, which were worth more than $260,000. She was then asked to transfer the money to a third-party bank account provided by the scammer, allegedly to assist in investigations. However, the transaction was detected by Standard Chartered Bank Relationship Manager Tan Kalbun, who noticed the victim's unusual banking behavior and outgoing transfers to a suspected Mills Bank account. He escalated the case to the bank's anti-fraud team, which subsequently reached out to ASC for help. Together, they immediately traced the flow of funds, which led to the identifying and freezing of all the scammer control accounts. This blocked the transaction from going through and prevented any losses for the victim. ASC officers also alerted the victim about the scam attempt. The police credited the timely intervention to Standard Chartered's rigorous emphasis on anti-scam training in close collaboration with the ASC, which works closely with the financial institutions and stakeholders to combat scams. The police also advised the public to adopt preventative measures, such as never installing software from unverified sources and ensuring that no one is watching when keying personal particulars or bank login details. It added that people should tell their friends and family about potential scams and not to be pressured to act impulsively.